What's up, internet? Evidently, I have forgotten to change the clock. Whoopsie. <laughs> I can fix that later. Um, it is November 1st. It is presently 11 p.m. We're gonna go to the next town over, just so that it's at least relatively the same time zone. <laughs> I swear, it's really the first. Although I could spend a little bit of the second here as well because we have to make way for some Seiken Densets 3 tomorrow. So we'll do that, but there's gonna be some time mess ups because um, I, I just, I've been so rattled getting everything back here because I had to move a console and a bunch of other stuff when I went yesterday so that we could watch a movie after Halloween. But Halloween happened, I spent it with my grandmother, as I do every year. Handed out candy, we got 24 kids. Uh, Spider-Man was the the big costume of the year. Uh, of the 24 we got, there was like six Spider-Men among them. I think the best costume went to this little, uh, probably fairly close to newborn being carried around by her mother who is dressed like a unicorn and I thought that was adorable but uh, there, there were some nice costumes and stuff we got like a princess and a cat princess and a witch but uh, spider-man was definitely the big big costume for the year I think and uh, the funny thing is we got all the people that came to our house after about an hour like, after that, it just went dead silent. I don't know what we're gonna do for you today. We're just gonna... You're a Cyclops with red eye. There you go. Done. But, uh, yes, now we're at least relatively the same day. <laughs> I really have to remind myself that I set the clock for it. I didn't do that. I didn't set it back, rather. But I've been running around trying to set everything up again since I came back. But, um, you know, after we got all the kids, uh, my grandmother and I settled down. We watched a movie. Uh, last year we watched the Western animated Coco, so I figured this year we'd watch an Eastern animated film, and I brought Spirited Away and. I think that might have changed her 90-year-old life forever. Uh, she was pretty amazed by Spirited Away. And that was a Blu-ray DVD combo, and since I already have a Blu-ray player, and she has a DVD player, although it's kind of tucked away in her house, I, I left that for her in case she ever wants to see it again. But I thought that was kind of neat. That, uh, that had so much of an impact on her. So anime, it changes people's lives, I guess. But, uh, that was, that was yesterday. We no longer can buy candy, of course, because there's, there's no point. We have a giant pile of candy outside my door that we have to throw away now, or eat, or something. Although our, our villager might get a little fat if we just feed him nothing but candy. Fortunately, that's not actually something we have to worry about, but it would kind of suck if we did. Hey, there's something we can dig up. I don't have my shovel, do I? Hmm. I could have thought this out a little better, I guess. Oh well. We'll make do with what we have, which is not much. <laughs> I can deliver a thing to Tangy. Actually, I think Crazy Red's still in town. I think. Alright, before we deliver this to Tangy, let's go check with Copper, because if Crazy Red is in town, he'll only be here for like another five minutes. So, we will have to deal with that. But first, let's check with Copper just to make sure that's the case. Alright, Copper. Anything going on? Ah, no. I guess not. Maybe that was yesterday. But I know that... Red sets up his tent at 6pm and goes for a full day after the day he starts, so... You know, I, I might have missed appropriated time zones or something. Oh well, it's alright. We can find something else to do that doesn't involve digging things up because we don't have a shovel. Although, 
Tangy, I think I'm about to make your day. I've got something for you. Although it's a new shirt, and honestly, I think the shirt you're wearing is pretty awesome. But here you go. Hopefully it's equally as awesome. It is not. Decidedly, it is not. That's not a lot of bells, Tangy. Actually, we might be able to go to um, Nooks and buy ourselves another shovel if he happens to have one in stock. Let's go take a look. As we may have lost our shovel temporarily, but we can make it back, possibly. Yay! We can still dig stuff up. Let's do it. It's not gold. We have to lower our standards a little bit for today, unfortunately. But we still at least got the ability to dig stuff up. Unfortunately, we don't get a ticket for that. I feel like we should. But that is neither here nor there. Actually, I was thinking about this earlier. It really kind of sucks that you get the spooky set from Halloween. We got a tar, a tar, a tall, tall warbloid. That's it. I don't know why I read that as tar warbloid, but it's icky and needs dish soap to wash itself off. But um, you know, you get the spooky set. We'll find you a ball, peaches, possibly. But, you know, you get the spooky set starting October 31st. But that, of course, means that then... If you want to decorate your house for Halloween, you can't do it until next year because Halloween's over by the time you've got the whole set. I think that is kind of sad in a lot of ways. But, I mean, if they didn't do it that way, there would be no reason to take part in any Halloween event as well. Whoops, I'm gonna say yes. Uh. Alright, I'll leave and I'll come back and then I'll say yes to whatever crazy quest. See, that's the thing, I was gonna go north to see if the ball was there and if that was the case, I could kill two quests in one movement. But it seems like that is not a thing. Okay, so you need a completely different object from a completely different person. Sure, yeah, fine, whatever. Is the ball here? No, it's not. It usually is, though. Hmm. I wonder where the ball is. See, the problem is there's limited numbers of places the ball could be that I'd be able to, like, get it for Peaches because pushing it up a hill is... Not impossible per se, but it's not good. I mean, pushing it across a river sucks as well, but, you know, having to do both pretty much makes it an impossible task. Or damn near close, anyway. There's Quetzal. I'm uh, picking a thing up. I shall return this to Pierce for you, my friend. Consider it done. And our boy Pierce is up here. I'm here to deliver this to you. I guess I could take some stationery. I think I might have to mail a fossil or two later. So we got to keep our eye out for two more gyroids and potentially fossils to make use of this stationery with. I just hope that we finally get the crocoid we're looking for, because that's literally the last one that I actually have interest in that we're missing. Oh good, here's the ball. Oh, I'm going to regret doing this. Let's go. This is going to be the worst quest ever. I mean, for one thing, I have to literally push it as far across town as I possibly can. 
I have to go up a hill as well as across the river and hopefully not have another villager start punting the ball away. These inclines are terrible! <laughs> Stupid. Okay. At least do not touch that Quetzal. No, no, no. And every step of the way, the villagers are going to get in the way because they're interested in the ball, too. Okay, we don't want to go in this direction with the ball. We want to go from the south because that means that we don't have to change direction while pushing it. We can just push it into that wall, and it should, should being the important thing, be okay. Stupid physics. Ah. If you get stuck on the wall, that's like the only way to get it out is just to hit it with your shovel. Come on. I don't think Peaches is getting her ball today. Oh, that was almost in the river. That would have been a real shame. And I would have cheered. And it would have been amazing. Okay. Don't. Okay. I don't know how that worked out so well, but it did. Now I just need to get it a little more north. Preferably... Hey Sykes, how you doing? Preferably without getting kicked around by Pierce. I don't think Cookie's around, so that's good. Okay. No, 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 ah, oh. god damn it. I hate you, you stupid ball. Oh yeah, how's Mario Maker working out for you? <laughs> Not well, huh? Stupid ball, this is the worst stupid quest in the stupid game. Alright, screw it. Screw it. We are just gonna go keep looking for gyroids, I guess. I don't have a lot of tools to our advantage right now. Can't catch bugs or anything. That's pretty impressive, 10 viewers, 2 followers. It's a lot more than I get. I'm averaging like 1.5 and I think I'm the one, so... You know. Well, it's good you're doing pretty well. Seven point five over three hours, that's still pretty impressive. I don't think I've ever gotten that high in viewership or anything. Looks like you're definitely hitting your stride, which is good. Yeah, I could see not too many people playing Mario Maker 1 if 2 is available. Ah, oh, there's a fossil. So there should be two gyroids left, as well as a fossil or two. Kicking around, I think. I'm gonna plunk that there. Hey, while I'm here, do you need something, Chow? Well, maybe Cookie needs something. Or Goldie, who has magically disappeared. There she is. I'm sorry, Goldie. Wendell's apparently coming to town, not that that does too much for us. There's a gyroid. Mega Poltergoid. Crap. Still looking for that last crocoid. We'll get it. Hopefully. 
I don't know if it was in our town or this one, but I remember there being something behind here that looked like we could dig it up. I guess not. Maybe it was in our town. Throw that away. Nothing at the beach. Not that there's much that I can do. I don't have a fishing rod. Throw that away. Camo frog. Doesn't look too bad on you. Go to Spikes, get glasses that you'll never wear, got it. It is now after midnight. It's now officially the second. Although our other town currently is because I'm an idiot. Alright, let's go find Spike. Actually, if it's daytime over there, I might go over there and hang out for a bit. See if there's anything going on. I can go talk to Goldie, sure, Spike. Ah, so you were playing courses at random, I assume? Yeah, there's a lot of those, like, really stupidly hard courses in Mario Maker from what I've seen. They're either levels that are poorly designed, made to be stupid hard, or basically play themselves. Those are like the three different types. Uh, fewer levels. That's a good way to engage your audience. That is a good idea. Get rid of that. Uh, stuck in my rags without my gold shovel. And now Cube's angry. Everything's going wrong. There you go, Camo Frog. The glasses that you will never use. I don't know, I mean, my clothes might not look great, Camo Frog, but they are one of a kind. You can only get these awesome rags by not having candy on the day of giving out candy. A subdued print. I can look kind of vaguely like a burlap sack. Hmm. I kind of like it. It's not a Gracie print, but not bad. Yeah. Stuff like Kaizo levels and speedrun stuff. Those typically take a lot of practice to get good at. I mean, that's, that's inherent to speedrunning, of course. But... That's kind of a jerk move. Still, as long as you're all having fun, that's the important thing. Put that away. Write a letter to the museum. I'm plunk a fossil in there. I'm gonna have to staple a note to my computer to remind me to set back the clock. Because I forgot to do that today. And it, the funny thing is, the next day I will have to set back the clock again because daylight savings time. Which has literally zero use in modern society. On the bright side, it's at least the chunk of daylight savings time that gives me an extra hour to sleep, so there's that. Goldie, do you need something yet? Alright, I'll ask you later. I've got another gyro to go look for. Hey, it's Cookie. My SD card is still somehow formatting. I mean, it doesn't look like it's doing anything, but... Last time I did something with my SD card when it was in this situation, the moment, like, I reset it or something you told me. No, we were actually formatting that. Don't touch us. So. So, I'm hoping that it's at least doing what I told it to do, because if not, I have to go through the whole ordeal of getting a new SD card. And I mean, it's not expensive. I can kind of swing it, but I don't really want to, just because I have to put in a bunch of extra work just to put everything else on there again. 
hope it works. Is that a digging spot? Yes, it is. There it is. Crocoid, crocoid, crocoid. Alloy. Damn it. Nothing cool in the dump. Alright, Nook. I'm here to sell some stuff to you that isn't expressly this shovel I bought from you. I don't need these gyroids. On the bright side, having the massive time out of whack that it, our main town currently is experiencing, this will at least let us sell all that candy in front of our house, I guess. Silver linings. What's up with you? Money can't buy love or happiness. This is true. There is a money tree, actually, but it involves finding a special spot to bury it, and also a gold shovel. I'll ask someone else, then. Something I can dig up? A mini warbloid? Does this mean that there's another set of, like, three gyroids out there that we missed? Because that was a full set we already dug up. Unless, of course, I already had, like, partially dug up a set and just missed one or something. Well, I guess we'll keep doing quests and see what goes on. I know where Pearl is. I can go deliver that to her when I go back home. But until then, we should keep our eyes out for more stuff to dig up. Because that's really what my tool set currently allows me to do, which is not much. What do you need in your life, Quetzal? Alright, I will ask you at another time. Weber! I haven't seen you in a while. Mainly because I don't want to talk to you ever, but here we are. Uh, nothing for Weber either. That's fine. I don't really want to help you anyway. Yes, I have a mini warbloid. You can have it if you give me more than 800 bells for it. That is not a fair trade. That gyro was worth way more than that stupid wall. Friends forever. I don't even like you. Silly Weber. I'm trying to get you to leave this town so I don't have to deal with you ever. I think we checked down here for stuff to dig up, so maybe. And then we ran into the ball and then we kind of got distracted by that, and no. Looks like we've kind of checked everywhere. I guess we must have just missed one gyroid. <laughs> That means Wendell's coming to town soon, but we already knew that. That was a big fish, not that I could do anything about it. I really need to get my tools back. Well, maybe we've got something worth talking about then, Chow. I see the ball. Okay. I'm surprised that didn't end up in the drink. Unfortunately, I've now got to get it up this wall, well, which will most certainly end with it being in the drink. Alright. Let's try and line this shot up. This ball is the worst. You can't really turn on the spot either, so you kind of have to move a little bit. Okay. Actually, that's a good idea. Let's see if digging a hole will stop it. Okay.
Evidently, digging a hole didn't help. <laughs> I think that's wild world logic. Dig a hole to catch a ball. I don't know. Like, they shouldn't have despawned. They typically... Stuff in the, uh... Acre shouldn't despawn until you leave the acre. And even in a lot of cases, that's not really what happens. So... I don't know why that happened. But I don't think you can actually catch balls in holes until, like, Wild World. Still, that was weird. Just another reason to prove that stupid ball quests are terrible. Can you... Okay, we're gonna have to find another ball to try and test this ball catching theory, because I know you can do that in later ones. There's a fossil. We've almost run through all this paper. Terrific. Write a letter to the museum. Alright. Are there any more fossils we can find around here? thought I saw something, but evidently not. I guess it would be foolish to think a ball would spawn right next to the person who wants it. Make my life easier, though. Alright, the ball doesn't respawn until you enter and exit a house. That's right. Yeah, while well, I'm here, I might as well mail some letters. Except for that mysterious letter that will never disappear. That's here forever. I'd like to mail more letters, Pelly. And I'd like to mail another one. This one, specifically. Alright. Let's see if we can find a ball. I'm not even interested in giving it to Peaches anymore. I just want to try and test this ball catching hole theory. Because I genuinely don't think I've seen it happen in the original game. Granted, I stay away from physics balls as much as I possibly can because they're terrible. However, it should be somewhere around here, I would think. I mean, there's only so many places that a ball can spawn in this game. And it tends, like everything else in this game, to have biases as to where it likes to spawn. In there. I think it can spawn on that little islandy bit. I've seen it spawn, like, right here. This is gonna be the moment where it spawns, like, right next to Peaches, too. That would be nice. Oh, what's that? You want a ball? Well, there's one right there. Mission complete. There's one around here. Normally spawns around here too. Nothing around here. I don't think one would ever spawn in the player housing area. I think that's just a rule. Look like it's around here. It's not in the 
garbage, even though that's where it belongs. But it's terrible, terrible physics. We can always go home and look for a ball there. Ah, the mighty, mighty museum. Institution of learning and collecting stuff. Around here. Come on, where are you, ball? place for them to spawn, which would it be the perfect place it would decide to spawn. Okay, well, this is the worst acre ever. Makes me think it would be inclined to spawn here, but I'm not seeing it. No. Ah, oh, there it is. Okay, let's try this. Need some place where it's clearing up in the open. can do it in this one. Which means I don't know what happened, but for some reason this ball magically despawned a bunch of holes we dug. Just another case of Animal Crossing being weird, I guess. Okay, let's try this again. This time... need to actually like get a bit of a run up to this so I hate you so much okay I can fix this there problem sort of kind of solved Positioning areas and despawning all my holes. Like that, I guess. Go team. Physics, you're being weird. <sighs> really don't want to let Cookie out ever. Cookie, you have to stay. There, and then there. Okay, I think I kind of have this sorted. Just have to be real careful. Okay. Maybe that there, and that up there. Okay, let's try this. One, two, three. Nope, 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 nope. I really do need a bit more of a run up, I think. The problem is, if you can see it, it kind of like takes different triangles at different angles, and then there's like this main slope that all have different effects on the physics. Okay, let's open up a hole there. Try this again. No! Actually, yeah, okay. The question is, how do I get it out of there? You can really tell this game was built on a grid. Cookie, I didn't want to talk to you. 
Maybe we could try pushing it from hole to hole. Yeah, that, that's actually a pretty decent idea. Assuming that it doesn't fall back into the hole it was in. Alright, let's give that a shot, because that actually does sound like a relatively sensible thought. Okay, so... Whoops. Okay, there, physics. Calm down. Okay. I didn't want it to go sideways. Thank you, Cookie. You were being very helpful for once. Okay, so let's push it there. I guess we gotta nudge it straight on. Yeah, it goes sideways. Okay. I can kind of make that work. Okay, so when I do it sideways, it goes straight. Interesting. So what happens if I do it like this? Like if I go right here. Okay, so I only have to hit it from a 90 degree angle. No! Thank you, hole. <laughs> You're finally pulling your weight. Proud of you. Okay, so, if we do this right, we have to hit it from 90 degree angle from the left. If we do that, we should be able to get it up here. What? <sighs> I hate the balls in this game. They are the worst quest ever. Screw it. I have dedicated way too much time into my day into one stupid pursuit of a stupid quest involving the worst mechanics ever. All right. Well, now that we can buy a bunch of flowers, we should probably do that. Besides, we gotta go clean up in front of our house back home. I'm gonna take this. Oh, plus we have that Katrina model we have to grab. Should buy this. Should buy this. I shall buy this. And I shall buy this. Okay, let's go home. I'm just, I'm way too angry about that stupid ball. I cannot face this town anymore. train of returnitude to take us to where we need to go, which is home. And hopefully some place with slightly less obnoxious quests and stupid physics and balls that are the worst thing ever. Unfortunately, of course, we have to deal with one of the other worst things in this game, Rover. It's now 10 a.m., except it's not, it's 12 a.m. So unfortunately, I've got to set the clock back about 10 hours. Because I forgot to reset it before we did this, but... We'll make do all the same. Oh, please stop talking, Rover. You are the worst. It's actually daytime. 
Yeah, I'm gonna have to set the clock back to its actual time at some point. And then ironically the next day I'll have to change the clocks again because stupid daylight savings time. Alright, well... What do we have here for mail? Home. Um, throw that away because I don't need it. It's already telling me my house is crap, don't care. And no telling me he's got a bear he's selling, which is really creepy because this is a world of animals. Hey, we finally got a new villager. Let's see what that's about. Hey, Cube, it's been a while. I could see him being pretty good at tumbling. Alright, well, that happened. Let's turn this away. Let's see who this new villager person is. It's a goat! Please get out of the way, I want to see what your house looks like. lives in an outhouse. Why do I get all the weird villagers? Alright, well, let's go plant some flowers and go clean up in front of the house. Plunk this down here. Plunk this down here. Continue to plunk that here. Well, oh, that is not going where it should be. Let's try this again. Put this here. We should see what Arnok has for his stock as well. And get rid of this stupid, not awesome shovel. Because it's stupid and not awesome. But first, we gotta go find good old Lady Pearl. There she is. I would like to give you this. Alright, well, we got some furniture anyway. That's a decent reward. Yeah, table tennis. That's a game I've never been good at. I've only played it a couple times, mind you, but still, it's not something I'm particularly good at. Let's get this. And let's go grab all my equipment because I should probably, you know, have it. Next step. Logically, let's go to the dump, where not only can we pick those up, but more importantly, we can throw this standard shovel in the garbage where it belongs, because it's stupid and not awesome like our gold shovel. In fact, we have to take everything else out of the dump just so that it won't infect everything there with how awful it is. There's our cool shirt, our fiendish shirt, our classic top. Okay, we can get, deal with that stuff in a bit. Start by cleaning this nonsense up. So we didn't need all this candy. Oh, well, we did. We needed a couple extra pieces because we didn't get the full set, but thanks to the magic of passwords, we can get them eventually. If I remember. But let's go sell all this crap to Nook. Uh, you can take this and 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 this. And we barely need a thousand bucks. Oh, good. 
What does the shop inventory look like today? Hmm. It's the exotic bureau, I believe? Wardrobe. That's actually not a bad little piece. Screw it, we need to start getting some tickets, so I'm gonna buy this because it at least looks kinda nice. I'll just end up selling it, but still. There's one ticket for us. Here. I think we have to empty out our inventory. Ease a little bit. Drop that. Drop that. We'll deal with this later. Right now we gotta deal with all this extra candy. Patch shirt that we're gonna drop. how much we're going to be able to sell candy for. I imagine not much. So we've got like 12. Let's see how much we can actually sell this for. I'd be surprised if we could end up selling them for like 10 bells each. We'll probably have to pay him. more bells than I thought we'd get. It's like 15 bells. Okay. Let's keep cleaning up. And this. And this. Get rid of that. Is there any new treasure to be found? Nope. Take this, take this. Got four more. One, two, three, and four. Alright. Probably have to make two more trips. Which is fine, but it's good to know. stuff to you. Namely, really cheap candy you sold me and you're gonna buy for even less. Probably not on the ground outside, obviously, but I think we're gonna keep one. Alright. Alright, I'm gonna sell all this crap to you. This, this, and this, and this, and this, and this. This, this, this. Slowly cleaning up the ground anyway. Let's go again. And I suppose now that it's no longer Halloween, we don't need to wear that spooky shirt. So let's see, leopard print, no. 
put this back on. Drop that, drop that, and I'll leave that there for now. Let's see, a shirt circuit. It's a gracie thing, so I'll leave that there. G logo shirt, we can sell that. Classic top, I think we can sell that. What is that? Let's just make sure. Ah, that's a very pretty shirt, but yeah, we can sell that. That said, I would like to keep that shirt circuit. Uh, Fiendish shirt is the spooky one. That's also a gracie thing. We'll put it over here. Boxing mat we can sell. There's our cool shirt, our classic uniform. Put that over here just so we don't get rid of it. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. This. Eh. This. 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 Uh oh, I'm out of inventory space, so that's okay. Uh, let me get rid of that. And I guess we don't need this immediately. And then we have to figure out what we have doubles of, of the spooky set. And then we gotta remember to go get the the uh, model of Gracie's tent that we left for Gracie. Um, Katrina's tent that's kicking around. Alright, that's a few more bells, but it's still not many. Okay. Let's get to... Clean up the spookiness, alright. Jack o' lantern and Jack of the Box are not part of the set. That is, however, that is not. But we can sell it, even though we just bought it. We can sell that. A lot of spooky bookcases, and that is the patched shirts. Leopard prints. Those are the Jack things. Okay. So let's see. We've got the carpet, so we can definitely sell this. We have a lamp. Bed. Yep. So we can move that over here to definitely sell. Already have the carpet. The wardrobe. Uh, that's not the same kind of wardrobe, but noted. Bookcase. And I think that was also a bookcase. Yeah, so those we can sell. Dresser. Vanity. And table. So what we have in our inventory at present, we can sell. Alright, nope, I'm here to make one final trip to sell crap to you. I will sell this and this and this and this and also this, even though I just bought it. Oh yeah, that's right. They're worth a lot because they're special. We want to buy as many flowers as we can to make this town a nicer place. Buy this. We'll buy this. This. And then I'll buy the final flowers as well. I just thought it was weird you could just plant them from the like uh, flower bag, or you could dig up a hole and then bury a flower bag. Like, I guess I appreciate that you can do that, but I just don't understand why that's a feature in this game. Like, it's extra steps to do something really simple that you could already do. Anyway, there's no point. Like that. Like that. 
Or it's nice to give you the option, I guess. Plant that. And plant that. Alright, good. You know, I'd like to catch you, Mr. Bug, but you are presently in our flower garden, and I don't want to ruin that. Alright, we got our Katrina tent. Things are still perfect with the wishing well. That's good. Clean this up. Are we going to run into Gulliver today? I doubt... Oh, right. That's up my can sell too. So I to man. I just read that too. I read to mannequin the other day. No, I ran to Gulliver the other day and he gave me a mannequin. Okay. Ah, uh, so stupid ball. That's right, you deserve to go to your underwater kingdom. Your stupid physics. Ugh. There was something around here. There it is. I knew I remembered seeing one right behind a lighthouse. Once I actually remembered a thing properly. Hooray! Let's run around here. Is anything happening relatively soon, Copper? I think Wendell's going to the next town over. Wendell. He will be here on the 4th. Okay. Noted. Get rid of that. Nothing of particular interest around here. Alright, well, I think we're going to go take our little model home. Go see about getting rid of this Oliver nonsense to Nook. I think that's a plan. This is a bad use of space, is what this is, but... And like a lot of those, you can actually turn a light on, it, which I think is cool. I don't really have anywhere I can put that piece of candy, though. Hmm. Oh! I just remembered a thing, too. I left all these fish in our Zen garden to make space for candy. Right, let's go get rid of these fish while we're here. And everything else I think is kind of dealt with for the moment. Eh, I'll hold on to these later. Go to Nooks, get rid of this stuff. Sounds like a plan. Alright, Mr. Nook. I need to sell you some stuff. Specifically, this, 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 and also this. And, I guess we can go deal with the banks as well, because we kind of have to. Go to the to the museum. Grab this and plunk this over here. Write another letter to the museum. Let's go to the post office. Go get this banking nonsense sorted out. Alright. Running now. 
because I have the turbo speed. Chloe spot. Yay! 3,000 bells. Yes, please. I've got two letters I'd like to mail, plus two bank deposits. I'd like to mail this one as well. That's it for letters, but I got other stuff too. I don't know why they dump you out if you just say you don't have letters. If you do that with deposits, they take you back to the root menu. Just weird that one option doesn't do that and the other does. I genuinely don't think I've ever seen this villager before. I don't even know what shirt that is. What shirt is that? It's like some kind of weird fur hide. A cherry? Well, I wouldn't mind it, but I wouldn't buy it for 1.5 times the price I could sell it for. That's just not sensible is what that is. Anyway, I think that will be it for tonight. I know tomorrow I'm planning to do more Trials of Mana, so hopefully we'll get to that. I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, follow the stream to know when we go live, because we do this every single night, plus other stuff when I happen to have the time, like the like three Halloween videos I've done over the past week. If you guys want to check out and subscribe to my YouTube channel to see everything else I do, which is a lot of stuff with a lot of different games. So there's something there for you, I'm sure. And if you really want to make my day, check out the show's PayPal or Patreon, support the show any way you can, so that I can continue to do what I do to the best of my ability, which in this case is to test terrible balls with special physics in this game because it's awful. Also, getting villagers that live in outhouses because I get the weirdest villagers for some reason. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time. Peace out, internet.